Alrighty, so this is going to be our first actual, like, personal type of design. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys how to start this off. So I'm going to start off with create a sketch and picking my plane or my face right there. Check my documents. Documents are going to be in inches. And this is where you would change it if it's not in inches right here. I'm going to start by creating a circle. Select it at the origin. Stretch it out. And then my units right here, I said is the outside circle has to be two inches, right? I'm just going to type two, enter. Now, concentric circles. I'm going to have another circle inside the circle. Create a circle. Start there. And then go out here. And what was the inside circle? 1.9. And if you're using the mouse, this is where you're going to use the scroll to get nice and big inside there. So you can see this here. So have my measurements, my two inches going across there, 1.9 going across there. Finish the sketch. This is gonna be key to making this work. You have, whenever we're doing parts to this, especially tracing an outline, you have to finish the sketch. So I finished the sketch right there. We okay? Now, I, right here, this next thing, if you don't finish the sketch, you won't give this option. So we're gonna go to Canvas, okay? On here, we select Canvas, and I'm gonna pick a picture. To put right here. So, random picture on my computer. You guys are going to find something better because this is going to be your coin. I am going to grab this corner. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I could use this. I can grab this. I could scooch the whole thing up. I can move it down. There we go. And so if that's where I want it, I'm going to just hit enter. Not too bad, right? So it's now time to cheat. I'm going to go through and this is going to be a little bit harder than most because a lot of my students actually chose photos like this earlier today. And so the, instead of actually just choosing a black and white photo to try to incorporate into this, they chose pictures. They wanted to actually have people on their coin. I'm like, okay, but it's gonna take a little bit more work. I don't mind. If you're willing to put in the work for it, go ahead. Now from here, I'm gonna start by going Create sketch. I want it right here on the coin. So right here on the inside. Now this next thing is fit point spline. And one thing I highly recommend before we actually start this off, go down here, turn off snap grid. Turn off snap grid. Okay, all you have to do is hover over it and turn off snap grid. Because otherwise, it's gonna to wanna to lock you in at every, every 90 degree corner on the grid. So it's gonna look up, look like 1980s Mario.
All right, so I'm gonna start and I'm gonna use my scroll. I'm gonna get nice and close down here. So I am gonna start with, and I'm just gonna try and do the dog in the collar. So right here where it's connecting, if you notice I'm scrolling in really tight here. And I'm just gonna follow this over. Let's say it's going to right here. And if you add more, it makes it a little bit easier to make it go straight. So if you notice, I get a whole bunch of different angles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start editing these angles. Okay, I clicked on it, I'm editing angles. So all I have to do is I click on a point and if it's sticking out too far, I grab an end and I change the curve a little bit. And I could do that all the way across the bottom to see what is actually selected. This one here. Again, all we're doing is tracing this. I'll show you again here in a moment. All right, I think that's it, finish sketch. I just did that piece right there. All I did is I took the photo and this is gonna be the dog collar for this. 
Now, if you are smart, a 2D picture works a lot better. Mm -hmm. 2D picture works a lot better. So here is an example of a 2D picture that is a flat and it is only black and white. So I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to add some more. So create sketch, select where I'm sketching. And so let's do around the nose. Plot the spline. More dots is going to let you curve it more. You could actually get closer and closer to what it is exactly by using more dots. And make sure you close it. You're done. Finish sketch. There we go. House top. Now I went back to it. So now you can see right here, I just used that to show this. Now I'm going to show the full coin right now. Now this coin here is going to be moving up. So I'm going to show you here how to actually raise because if you look at a coin the highest point is the same as the edge. And this is going to be 0.2 in a thickness. So I'm going to just take this after I get one piece defined. And instead of going 0.2, let's go 0.19. Join it to the body. Let's see if I could taper it. Degree taper. Oh, too many points. There you go. So now if I go home again, I can see this guy's nose is standing up. So all this is going to be raised up, but even the back part is going to have to be raised up. Because we still want to see the white part here. That's got to be high enough. So if you want an example, grab a coin, look at it, okay? The face comes up, but then the back part is also there too. It's all raised up. So that's the full thickness of the coin. That's what you're trying for. And I'm gonna go back to my Totoro coin that I have here. Now, I finished tracing out my Totoro. So by the time you're actually done tracing this out, I'm going to go over here to where it says canvas is. I'm going to turn off the canvas. By turning off the canvas, I have the outline for the whole thing now. So now I could actually start here and start selecting areas that I want to fill in. So all this right here, I'm going to fill in and raise that where the blank spots is going to be subdued. It's going to be pushed back a little bit. But this is also where I'm going to add my text. Add text either in front or behind or right here. So for mine, my text is probably going to be down here on the bottom. Does that make sense? So if I do this, I will show you sketch one. And here it is, item by item going through. So as I go through, I keep adding different parts to it. So all of it wasn't added at the same time. 
I just did little piece at a time, finished sketch, and then continued when I'm, spe especially if I'm changing direction in a 90 degree angle, spline doesn't like to connect at a 90 degree angle. It's not gonna curve it at 90. So you end one, and then you pick up again at that same to make your sharp 90 degree angle, or if it's sharper than 90. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Now, that's what your guys' project is gonna be. Again, this is gonna be cast in aluminum. So we're gonna melt this hopefully next week after your coins are done. And then we're gonna go out, melt some aluminum and you know, use your coins as a form for this. There we go. So make sure you guys all like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go more into the pushing and pulling of this coin later in the next video. So right now it's your job to actually get your design.